with Mandalore now united under his fist and Palpatine dead, Maul would ponder upon the consequences of what had just happened. The Clone Wars, which were orchestrated and controlled by Darth Sidious, were still raging on, and without Palpatine, it was doubtful that the Dark Lord's plan to destroy the Jedi Order with Order 66 could come to fruition. Contacting the leaders of the crime syndicates and his Mandalorian advisors, Maul would contemplate his next move. It would not be long before Dooku would learn what had unfolded on Mandalore, and that could only mean one thing, war. But before we get into the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe below for more awesome Star Wars what ifs and lore videos. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out about our LEGO Star Wars subscriber giveaway. Far away on the other side of the galaxy, Dooku would feel a great disturbance in the Force. Realising his master was dead at the hands of Maul, he would be struck with intense mixed emotions. On one hand, the Clone Wars and the clones themselves were no longer under the control of the Sith, but on the other, he was now the single most powerful man in the galaxy. The CIS droid army outnumbered the Republic's clone troopers 100 to 1, and the only reason the CIS had not already wiped the floor with the Republic was the Sith's desire to draw out the war as long as possible. Only one threat remained, Maul. A Sith Lord at the helm of a Mandalorian and crime syndicate empire was not to be trifled with. Dooku knew full well that a single Mandalorian was worth over a thousand battle droids, and an army of them in control of the crime syndicate's secret hyperspace routes could ravage the whole galaxy, just as Mandalore the Ultimate had during the days of the Old Republic. There was only one thing for it, the total elimination of Mandalore and the Sith that controlled it. As Dooku briefed Grievous and his droid army, Coruscant would be in disarray with the whereabouts of their leader unknown. Maul knew it would take the Republic weeks to realise the fate of their Chancellor. He also realised that Mandalore could not hold up against the droid army of the CIS and then the Republic's soon after. His only chance would be to draw both factions to Mandalore at the same time. Only among the confusion of a three-way battle would his army stand a chance. It would be the perfect opportunity to weaken both the Republic and the CIS in one go. He would use his connections to the criminal underworld on Coruscant to hack into the Jedi holonet, displaying Palpatine's charred body. With his army of Death Watch troopers behind him, Maul would taunt the Jedi, saying it was him that killed the Republic's leader and that he would be coming for Coruscant next, proclaiming a new Sith Mandalorian Empire. The Jedi, terrified of the prospect of a renewed Sith Mandalorian Empire, would meet with the top Republic officials and would organise a full military intervention on Mandalore. Fearing that mass panic would ensue if the Senate and public learned that the Chancellor had been killed at the hands of the Mandalorian Sith, the Jedi were given emergency powers. Mace Windu, now in control of the Republic's military until a new Chancellor could be found, ordered a military intervention. There was to be a full-scale subjugation of the Mandalorian people by the Republic's Grand Army. Surrounded by his Death Watch supercommandos, Maul and Opress would sit and wait for the coming battle, the smug face of Maul reflecting in the Darksaber's hilt. The Mandalorian people, even the women and children, were kitted out in their Mandalorian Baskar armour, waiting for the coming invasion from both the CIS and the Republic. Thousands of Black Sun and Hut smuggling ships swarmed across the Mandalorian skies, delivering weaponry and supplies for the coming battle. Any other such peoples would have fled in the face of such destruction, but the Mandalorians stood strong, with whispers of a legendary last battle spreading through the Mandalorian ranks. As Mandalore braced itself for war, Maul waited intently for his Black Sun associates to arrive on the system. Arriving in a stealth transport ship, the Feline male would greet Maul and would inform him that his special delivery had arrived. Thank you for watching guys and make sure to check back here tomorrow for the third part in the series. Do you think it's likely that Maul would have been able to keep power on Mandalore? Let me know in the comment section below. 
to celebrate the start of this channel and hopefully a better year than 2020, I'm going to be doing a Star Wars Lego subscriber giveaway. The lucky winner of this giveaway will be picked at random at the end of February and will win both the Mandalorian and Sith Trooper battle sets completely free. All you have to do for a chance to win this awesome prize is to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, like the video and comment who your favourite Sith Lord is in the YouTube comment section of any of my videos. If you want to double your chances of winning, like our Facebook page and comment there as well so I know to put your name in twice. If you want to triple your chances, then head over to our TikTok account, give us a follow and comment there too. As this channel is so new, there's a high chance of winning, so if I were you, I would do all three to maximise your chances. The winner will be revealed on this channel and on Facebook at the end of February. There's going to be plenty of awesome Star Wars content right here, which I'm really excited to get into. I'm going to be doing some more comic read-throughs and overviews, as well as some more lore videos in the near future. It'd be great if you guys could let me know what you want in the comment section below. I will also most likely be doing one of these giveaways every month or so, so stick about for that. Best of luck guys, and may the force be with you.